they're very, very happy. The only problem with the procedure yeah. is that it is quite costly. Okay. It, is, it is expensive and it's, and it's only lasting for a short amount of time because uh, the gel that I inject is going to be resorbed by the body. And um, that's the only way that I know that it's 100% safe. Would you please give us a price indication? Because somebody out there may be very interested in what we are discussing. Uh -huh. Who want to enhance their, uh -huh. their, 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 their look? Yeah. Give us a little... It, it depends on, on how much volume is, is really necessary for, for the wishes of the, of the client, but it can, it can easily cost about 3,000 euros. Or how long would that last? About one year. Okay. Yeah, and then after one year, you might want to have a touch-up treatment. You, do, you don't need the full treatment, mm -hmm. but maybe, you know, half half of the original uh, amount of volume. Okay. And then would you do that uh, how often? So uh, how often would you do that? What, what I've uh, noticed is that the people that come for a breast enhancement, uh, a buttocks enhancement, yeah. they come about every nine months. Every nine months. Yeah, because, because after nine months you can see that you are back to about 70%. Yeah. So then they start to notice a difference again. Then mm -hmm. they feel that uh, they want to you know, go back to their original uh, correction. And yeah. then, uh, then they come back after about nine months. Mm -hmm. And I give them such a treatment then. Okay. Well, this treatment, uh, is this only for men? Or for men? Mm -hmm. It is. You know what? There's a lot of men. A lot of men want to uh, to have a buttock enhancement. Are yep. you? Are you? Do you really mean that? Yes. Yes. Men. There's a lot of men that want it. Yes. Okay. But there's more women. Yeah. But for the women, it's more important. Mm -hmm. But it's also good for men. Yes. Because yes. a man must yes. also be trendy and uh, look nice. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Well, men, men just the same way women are looking at men are looking out for good for men. So oh, men look out for good women, uh -huh. having all nice shape, curves and everything. Exactly. Women as well do. Do they? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Can you tell me more about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, look out for, I mean, people who are trendy, just like my husband, don't you see? Uh, maybe I'm going to bring uh, bring my husband to your clinic, and uh, but I think I really like him. He's real packaged and good shaped. Finally, turn back a little bit. Let, let the doctor look whether your own is uh, L-shaped and V-shaped. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He doesn't need any buttons. <laughs> oh, my God. This is a very lively show with Dr. Yanni Borgham. Feel free to call us on 027-371-619. This is the radio voice of Niger coming to you live discussing cosmetic surgery, a safe way of enhancing the root as easy as having a haircut with Dr. Yanni Logan. Our next question is uh, why do some people see the need to have a cosmetic treatment or argument their backside? Well, the interesting thing is with the, you know, with the cosmetic treatment of the backside is that before it was necessary to have a large surgical operation and that involved an incision yeah. uh, between the two cheeks okay. going down almost towards where the anus is okay. and um, then make through this, uh, this opening the surgeon could insert yeah. Uh, uh, silicone prosthesis. Mm -hmm. Okay. But as you could probably imagine, this is an area very prone to wound infection. Okay. Because there's a lot of bacteria in that area. Okay. And so there have been problems uh, with uh, with that treatment with the uh, with the permanent silicone implants in the buttocks. Okay. But now we have macrolane, and macrolane. so we only need um, uh, with the with the needle. I give a, with a very small needle. I give a little bit of local anesthesia, and then with a bigger needle, I make a very small opening in the skin. Yeah. Okay. And through that opening, I can insert my cannula. And my cannula, it looks like a long needle, but it has a, it doesn't have a sharp point. It has a round point. It's like a knitting needle, basically. And through that, 
cannula, I can inject the gel. Yeah. So I don't need to cut. I only need to make a little uh, needle hole. And through that needle hole, I can, I can work. And I can fill the complete button with, uh, with the gel. So okay. there's th it's not surgery, but it's, um, it's uh, medicine. Wow. Wow. Well, listeners out there, you want to reach Dr. Yemi Logan for such treatment or any other sort, please remember to call us on 0 0-6-8-4-6-0-6-5-5-0. Any, any, any information you need for Dr. Logan, we are going to pass that information. Or you send us a mail at uh, voiceofmedia at live.com. Uh, then we also forward the email to him direct. Or uh, you can also give us a call right now on 020-737-1619. Let's take a short break. <laughs> 